The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Presented by North Carolina's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Proud to sponsor Wolfpack Athletics. And by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste. Zero calories. It was a wild Halloween shootout at Carter-Finley Stadium on Saturday afternoon. For three hours and 49 minutes, Clemson and NC State went at it. The Tigers made a few more plays in the Wolfpack and remain unbeaten. The final 56 to 41. Welcome to the Dave Dorn Show with the coach. I'm Tony Haynes. Coach, you've had some time to digest this wild football game that you witnessed from the sidelines. What kind of jumped out at you as you reviewed the tape? Well, I was proud of the guys, the way they played for four quarters. You know, there was moments in the game where you could feel that uh, maybe it was slipping away and our sidelines didn't do that. They kept playing and making plays and yeah, I thought there was a lot of visible will to win. Uh, there was a lot of great responses. We gave up too many big plays. You know, those four long passes hurt us, obviously. Um, but, you know, there's guys that stepped up, and I thought our old line played as good as they've played uh, against a really good front. You know, I thought uh, scoring as many points as we did gave us an opportunity to win. The offensive staff had a good game plan. Jacoby really played hard. You know, we, we got a lot to work on to get better, but uh, our guys were not at all. Uh, intimidated going into that football game and they played the win for the whole game. How do you fully recap a 56-41 game on a 30-minute television show? I don't know if you can, but we're going to try our best with Coach Dorn. Also, straight ahead, we're going to have Mark Thomas getting coached up this week by defensive coordinator Dave Huxtable, plus a feature on fans, you're going to love this, tailgating. The Dave Dorn Show continues after this. of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. With one exception, keeping electricity affordable. That's the power of your co-op membership. Learn more at togetherwesave.com. North Carolina's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, looking out for you. This is the Ford F-150, and this changes everything. Get a 2015 F-150 with 0 for 72, or get up to 9235 total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Our farm is a family business. Most hog farms are family farms. I've been around the farm all my life. When I graduated from college, I just decided this was what I wanted to do. She has come in to the family business. She'd rather be down here than anywhere else. We take care of our land. Our land's what makes our living. Our hogs are well taken care of. It works. We make it work. She loves what she does, and she gives it 150%. I'm Megan Spence, and I'm a North Carolina hog farmer. There's a lot of days in your life, man. A lot of days. Some of them just go by, not a lot of stuff happens. 
This ain't one of them days, man. This is a special day. It's a day for you to take another step in this program. It's a day for you to take another step in manhood. Back here on the Dave Dorn Show with the head coach of the Wolfpack, I'm Tony Haynes, and we thank you for sticking around. It was a game that featured 97 total points, more than 1,000 yards of total mm -hmm. offense. Clemson beating NC State 56-41. to Coach, it was also a big day for NC State football. Not only was a, a game against the number three team in the country on homecoming, it was a big recruiting day for the Wolfpack. How pleased were you, were you with the atmosphere provided by Wolfpack Nation? They did a tremendous job. You know, the fans were here early. I don't know, it was about 7 a.m. when the students started lining up at the stadium. And uh, you know, we dropped off some donuts for them, thanking them, and just uh, great fanfare. You know, people were, were into it. Um, it was packed. There was no seats left. I know talking to the Wolfpack Club, they said it was the hardest ticket to get in a long time. So thank you to all the people that were a part of that and, and, and that worked the event. And it meant a lot to our team. It was such a whirlwind at the beginning of the game. NC State yeah. zips down, scores on its first possession. Clemson comes right back, four-play drive. Then Naheem Hines electrifies the crowd with a 100-yard kickoff yeah, return. Awesome. It was really unbelievable. Ideally, though, you'd like for your defense to be able to sit on the sidelines, collect themselves, confer with the coaches. Was that virtually impossible at the beginning of the game? Yeah, I mean, there wasn't a lot of corrections being made just because of how fast that first couple series went, like you mentioned. But... Uh, you know, there were some really good moments uh, throughout the game on defense, and there were some that weren't. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that swing at the end of the second quarter hurt us. You know, that uh, we're about to make a field goal to be ahead with 50 seconds left, and it's a 10-point swing. You know, you talked about your offensive line in the first segment. I was standing there in the second quarter, Coach, and I thought to myself, at least 10 of the 11 players for the Clemson defense up to that point had rushed the quarterback. Mm -hmm. I mean, the corners, safeties, linebackers are coming from all angles. Jacoby took some hits, but can you imagine there being a, a tougher football player in the country right now? <laughs> I'm glad he's ours, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I have so much respect for how hard he plays the game. And you know, I know everybody watches a, a guy play, and there's things you wish you could do different, but there's nothing you want more from a guy from a toughness standpoint, how much he cares and his attitude and how he leads. You know, you look at the first drive, NC State went for it on fourth down, and Jacoby scored on an option yeah. play. Then in the fourth quarter, uh, you tried a couple of onside kicks. But realistically, against a team like that, do you have to go in and, and say you're going to be aggressive for four quarters and maybe take some chances? Absolutely. I mean, no one had had a 10-play drive or more all season mm -hmm. on their defense, so we knew we weren't going to have a methodical drive for a score. We had to have chunk plays. We had some gadget plays in there, and they did a good job defending one. We were trying to throw back to Jacoby with Naheem, and, and their end was dropping on that play, so they kind of lucked into that one. You know, um, we had a couple double move passes where we thought we could get behind them, and, you know, they did a good job defending some of them. We got away uh, and got open on the wide hide, the hide play that we scored a touchdown with Jay Sam. So we knew we had to be aggressive to stay in the game. They averaged 38 points going in. Well, we all know what kind of player David Greenwich can be at the tight end position. He was terrific in this game. Seven catches, 82 yards. Moving forward, what would it mean for this offense for him to remain productive like that? Well, it matters to have a 6'7 guy catching the ball. And, uh, you know, Matt did a good job, uh, Eddie Faulkner, our tight end coach, of moving him into different positions where he can have more success. And he was flexed out more in that game. Uh, he was not used in the tight end position as much, more like a receiver. and. Uh, I think obviously Jacoby liked throwing the ball to his big body and he found a way to make some tough catches for him. It was indeed a wild one at Carter Finley Stadium, Clemson 56, NC State 41. Uh, you know, a lot of players stepped up and made plays and you know in all three phases of the game and you know from last year, you no know, was a big a big jump, but you know, like I mean we had that game, uh, we just gotta execute a little bit more down the scratch. A lot of players are mad, uh, you know, it's a tough loss, uh, especially when you end the game for that long and you know it's coming from last year and we knew going into this game you know it was a possibility of us winning we, we really felt uh, really good about beating them and thought that it was possible because nobody played them how we were playing them. you know I think we gave them a run for our money but they're a great team uh, came out and played really well and you know we just got to find a way to finish. Brissett takes a shotgun snap he'll float a pass toward the left corner of the end zone open as Olsen he's got it touchdown Wolfpack. We got a lot to learn you know we just uh, just gonna keep going hard you know we just, we're not gonna let this lo this loss uh, defect us the rest of the season. So we're just going to keep preparing the same way as we did this week, go hard every week. Going into halftime, I knew Matt was out. Uh, I knew the load was going to, you know, 
increase as we go. I just had to, uh, you know, just step up, be the next man up, and make a play. Uh, you know, we, we was doing a lot of rotation here and now and then, third and fourth quarter, just try to get a victory for our team. They fake the handoff to Nichols. Now Brissett will throw to a wide open Samuel, left side to the 20, the 10. He's going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolfpack. This is a uh, play action pass. Um, comes off of our jet series, so we've watched this uh, on a couple different shows where you see Matt Bays or Jay Sam in motion, where the defense rotates with the motion. A lot of the eyes are going to be going that way because Matt's in motion there, and uh, we're faking an inside zone uh, here to DeQuay Nichols, and then it turns into a bootleg uh, with Matt in the flat up top, and then you see our tight end uh, on the backsides clearing out the backside coverage. That's Benson so that the wing on the front side, Jalen Samuels can clear, uh, come back underneath wide open and has one man to beat and beats him. Uh, we call that a hide route, where the guy's hiding before he crosses. And usually you'll see this route in the red zone. Uh, it's a really good third and one, uh, fourth and one type play action pass. Coming into the weekend, NC State tailback Matt Days was the ACC's second leading rusher. Did you know that the last Wolfpack running back to lead the league in rushing was Tremaine Stevens? Back in 1997, Stevens led all ACC running backs with 1,142 yards. What are people going to think of our new buttermilk crispy chicken? Let's find out. It's probably the best sandwich I've ever had. It's super crispy, but it's also really juicy. So would you guys come back? Yep. Yeah. Here's our card. It's McDonald's. Oh, get out of here. Right. Try some buttermilk crispy chicken. It's right around the corner at McDonald's. You know, I still can't believe McDonald's is serving breakfast all day. It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> Uh-oh, dead air. <laughs> Go to commercial. <laughs> it's time for the new all-day breakfast menu at McDonald's. At 36, Jo was concerned about having her first child. A specialist saw something on an ultrasound and recommended a difficult choice. Jo came to Rex for a second opinion. She was evaluated and reassured at the UNC Specialty Women's Center at Rex. Not long after, Levi was born. It's a brand new day. It's our favorite kind of story. Sun is shining. One with a happy it's beginning. A brand new day. Rex Healthcare. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Learn more about the power of your co-op membership at togetherwesave.com. North Carolina's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, looking out for you. Back with Dave Dorn, I'm Tony Haynes, and welcome to the Dave Dorn Show. We already talked about the magical atmosphere that was Carter Finley Stadium on Saturday against the Clemson Tigers. A lot of action, though, takes place before the game, yeah. out in the parking lot. Great place to tailgate at NC State, as we all know. Might that be one of your big regrets? Because you're a coach, you don't have a chance to partake <laughs> in tailgating. Yeah, I think, you know, whenever I'm done with this career, that'll be something <laughs> that I try to move into. But uh, our fans, you know, I know they love it. I know it's important to them. I appreciate that, and uh, it means a lot to us for them to be out there like that. I'll tell you, when the buses roll in, for the Walk of Champions to see all those people set up, it's, uh, it raises the hair on the back of your neck every time. I wish I could stop when I'm coming into the stadium. <laughs> it smells but good, th yeah. There's work to do. No fan base does tailgating better than the Wolfpack. Hey, Wolfpack fans, it's homecoming 2015 here in Raleigh, and NC State is known for their dedicated fan base. So let's head out to the tailgates and catch up with Wolfpack Nation. What do we have cooking on the grill today? Uh, today we're going to do burgers and dogs and kielbasa <laughs> and jalapenos and mac cheese. How long have you guys been out here today? 
um, since yesterday. You've been out here, so more than 24 hours. Yes, definitely. The RV's been out here for that long. That's very nice, very nice. So you've got the setup, you've got the TV, you've got the big screen. You guys are more than prepared. Are you going into the game or are you going to watch it out here oh, no, on your big screen? Absolutely. We won't miss a minute. We'll stay to the puzzle. Very nice. That's what NC State fans do. Win, lose, or draw, we'll be in the stadium for every snap. So we are doing the pregame tailgate. We're working with Athletics Marketing. We've got pizza, bandanas down here for um, glow in the dark. So yeah, we're just getting everybody pumped up for the game. <laughs> and this is for everybody. It doesn't have to be like a Wolfpack Club member or anything like that. It's for everybody. Hey, do you guys mind if I take a bandana? Sweet, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll take one. NC State versus Clemson. What do you think the final score today is going to be? I mean, I was going to shoot for a little bit higher. Do you think we're going to win though? This family has been tailgating together for 15 years. Four years of their oldest daughter, Becca. Four years of our young brother-in-law who we helped raise, JP. And four years of Miss Gila over there, 12 years, and then they've been out of college for three years, so 15 years together here. We are here at every game at the moment they let us through the door. We have Polish sausage, red hots, hot dogs, and pork chops. I see that, and you're in charge of all that. You're, you're the, you're the I'm not in charge of anything. Well, we bought the bus off of eBay for 850 bucks about 10 years ago. It was Carolina blue, so of course we had to paint it. Um, we're doing a low country boil, so we've got shrimp, potatoes, um, all kinds of stuff like that. I was curious about this game that you guys are playing. Yeah. I have no idea what it is. It's called, it's called Beer Speed. Okay. Uh, so you get points for knocking the bottle off the top. Uh, we're hitting the pole. Uh, you drop the disc, it's, 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 uh, it's negative points. You lose points, they get points. That's a lot of pressure. Do you think I could give it a try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. allowed to do this. Certainly. Can you be my partner? Because this guy Certainly. is like... Let's see it. So what does this all entail? Well, we got the chickens cooking. We got beer and barbecue sauce inside the can steaming the chicken. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you guys. I found him, I found him, I found Waldo. Where have you been hiding? Uh, well, I was in Greenville, but I decided to come to Raleigh today, okay. so and probably why you haven't seen me. And you're hopefully out here pulling for the pack today. Of course. Uh, we got chicken uh, uh, drumsticks going right now. We'll have ribs a little bit later on. Uh, we've had pizza that we started off with. Uh, we've had brocks. Uh, we've had a little bit of a smorgasbord this day. How long have y'all been tailgating with NC State? 1976. Long time. And what is this costume we have here today, sir? You, of all people, should realize that I am the chick magnet of NC State today. What am I? Yeah. A wolf. A wolf? Okay. <laughs> oh! Well, we've tried the food, we've played the games, and now it's time to head into Carter-Finley and help cheer on NC State. Go Pack! This week I'm getting coached up by defensive coordinator Dave Huxtable. And Coach, man, I gotta admit, uh, when you're in charge of an entire defense, a lot of moving parts out there, it just, it seems like utter chaos. Organized chaos, is that what you call it? Organized chaos, <laughs> chaos under control. Uh, and I'm, I'm really fortunate. I've got a great defensive staff. Uh, Ryan Nielsen with the defensive line, Clayton White with the safeties, and George Barlow with the corners. They make my job a lot easier. When you're trying to coordinate and you're looking at fits and you're calling plays, are you looking at the defense as a whole or do you have in your mind some of the plays that you like to see? Well, you know, we study the offense, you know, and we study them by personnel. We study them by formation, all right? And then we've got to structure our defense to be able to defend those formations versus those run plays those pass plays. And of course, not only can you set up defensive schemes and blitzes, but there's technique. How important is technique work for you? Well, that, that's where it all starts. All right? It all starts with, with great fundamentals and great technique. All right? And then the scheme, there's no magic in the scheme. The magic is in the players and the teaching of playing the fundamentals and the technique, learning the scheme then and then doing their job and doing it fast, hard, and physical. All right, you're gonna get me coached up. I, I need some technique work. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's right. do it. We're going to talk about tackling. Let's do it. All right, we're just, we're just going to talk about a fit in a tackle, all right? And if I have Spike right here, just he's the ball carrier, all right? 
And so I'm coming in, all right, from my left ball carriage to my left, all right. Up we talk about making a left shoulder profile tackle, all right, where as I'm coming into the left right here, my near foot is going to be my power foot to contact. All right, so I want to gain as much ground as I can to the ball, all right, and taking the extra step rather than stopping my feet distance from the ball and lunging and missing the tackle. So I want to close, step on the toes, under balance, all right, and then when I get into the contact position, all right, I'm going to step near foot, hands in the holster, I'm going to rub my ribs, all right, and I'm going to shoot and get into the club phase, roll my hips, and then knees high and wide and drive them back. All right, boy, that, that sounds like a lot. I, I, see, see if I can get through that. I want to make sure I close because I, I don't want to lunge. That's right. All right. All right. And, and we're, we're not going to start you off. We're going to start from the fit. Right, You've go. already come to the ball, coming right. to bounce. Now we're going to be in the fit. Okay. So I want to see a good bend. Okay. All right. I want to see the eyes up, always seeing what I'm hitting. All right. All right. Is there a tendency for guys to lean in? There's, like there's a tendency for guys to lean, all right, and put the head down. And, and that will be good injury, right? Yeah. And what is the other thing it does? When I hit with my head, the top of my head gear, yeah. it shortens my arm. Oh yeah. It shortens my arm and they break a tackle. So I want to have head and eyes up, all right? I want to have a good bend, all right? Chest out, uh -huh. all right? I want to see what I'm going to hit and I want a long arm tackle. And I want to see you step with the left foot, uh -huh. all right, the contact. Right, then I want to see you rub your ribs with those elbows and get into the clamp. There you go. And now you're going to be in the drive phase with the knees high and wide, knocking them back. All right, let me get a little quicker. Now we're going to do it quicker. All right. All right, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say one, and I want you to take that power step with that left foot. Then I'm going to say two, and then I want you to bring the, the club and clamp and get into the drive phase. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Yeah. One, two. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Good. Ah. Woo. What a lot of technique. All right, let me flip it over, see if I can go the other way. Okay. All right, now we're approaching. We're going to be a right shoulder profile tackle. All right, power step right foot. All right, I'm going to say one. Uh -huh. I want to see that power step, and yeah. I two, I want to see you club and clamp and drive. Right, one, two, there you go, there you go, there you go, good. Oh my God. You might be able to play defense. I don't know about that. What are people going to think of our new buttermilk crispy chicken? Let's find out. It's probably the best sandwich I've ever had. It's super crispy, but it's also really juicy. So would you guys come back? Yep. Yeah. Here's our card. It's McDonald's. Oh, get out of here. Try some buttermilk crispy chicken. It's right around the corner at McDonald's. You know, I still can't believe McDonald's is serving breakfast all day. It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> Uh-oh, dead air. <laughs> Go to commercial. <laughs> it's time for the new all-day breakfast menu at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This is the Ford F-150, the only pickup with a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body bolted to a high-strength steel frame. It's also a wake-up call for every full-size pickup in its class. No body rust, most towing, best payload, highest gas mileage. This is the Ford F-150, and every other truck is history. Now get an F-150 with zero for 60 or get up to 92.35 in total savings only at your Carolina Ford dealer. show you impressive images of the technology we employ with dramatic success at Rex Cancer Center. Or footage of our team of cancer specialists and the many examples why people choose Rex for excellence in healthcare. But the images that inspire us most are ones like this. It's a brand new day. The sun is shining. Rex it's UNC Cancer Care, chosen day. for excellence. Another road trip for NC State this week. The Wolfpack travels up to Chestnut Hill to take on the Boston College Eagles. Kickoff time is set for 12.30 p.m. next Saturday. Airtime on the Wolfpack Sports Network will be 10.30 in the morning. Along the way this week, on Wednesday, in fact, we'll have the Dave Doran Radio Show. It airs on the Wolfpack Sports Network from 7 to 8 p.m. 
And as always, you can join us live at the Backyard Bistro in Raleigh. Wolfpack scouting report for the ninth game of the season. Packs going on the road, take on Boston College. Now, first of all, with this scouting report, let's talk about that. When you go on the road at Boston College, it's a unique environment. Not a lot of fans are going to be there. The atmosphere is kind of low. So you got to get your mindset on knowing this and being ready to go. So let's look at this defense. Steve Adazio, the head coach, big offensive line coach. We'll get to those guys in a minute, but they're going to run the ball and play tough defense. One of the best defenses statistically in the ACC, and it starts with the Mike linebacker, number 52, Steve Daniel. This guy's a playmaker, spends a lot of time in the post team's backfield. One of the top tackle for loss guys in the ACC. Definitely the Mike linebacker, and that's the idea. Just this tough-minded uh, presence of a middle Mike linebacker. Steve Daniels definitely does that, and the guy in front of him, number 90, Connor Wujiak. The best nose tackle that NC State's probably going to see all year long. Whenever you're dealing with a big physical nose tackle that likes to slice in gaps with this 4-3 defense, you got to front him up. This guy, he's definitely one of those. Fight through double teams, but you cannot just one-on-one -on -one block him. On the offensive side of the ball, it's a basic style, you know, two wide receivers. We got a tight end over here, quarterback, running back, and actually a fullback. Let's first of all look at the running back, Tyler Rouse. You know, we've got a junior back here, uh, smart guy, doesn't make a lot of mistakes, but nothing too flashy, doesn't do anything great, but does a lot of things really well. But the quarterback position is interesting. We've got two freshmen. We've got a true freshman in Jeff Smith and a redshirt freshman. How about this kid, Troy Flutie? Does that name ring a bell? Yeah, everybody knows Doug Flutie. The difference is Troy Flutie is much taller than Doug. Doug was like, what, 5'5"? Five, five? Yeah, little guy, Troy, much taller, 5'11". So when he goes in, number 16, the crowd really gets into it. They like this guy for obvious reasons. They want him in the game, but you're going to see both of them. They're both effective. Young kids make some mistakes, but that's their offense. Basic, tough-minded, hard-nosed Steve Adazio, Coach team. All right, Mark, yep, next up, we got a road trip to Boston College next Saturday. We'll talk about the Eagles here in a minute. One of the things that Dabo Swinney said after the Clemson game on Saturday, he so admired the job that you and your staff did and the effort level we saw from NC State in that football game. If your team can stick together and play with that type of effort that we saw against Clemson, do you feel good about what this team can accomplish? Well, I think, yeah, I mean, it showed four-quarter uh, grit, and I think that's something that's really important. You know, when you're a young football team, keeping the guys together, and, and uh, obviously that's going to be a huge focal point this week of being able to mount, uh, bounce back and, and really keep the same energy level. Now, Boston College had a tough season. The Eagles have struggled on offense. They lost to Virginia Tech 26-10 to 10 on Saturday. One constant, though, has been defense, yeah, and as a really result, good. they've played a lot of close games. Right. Do you expect a totally different type of game this weekend than you saw on Saturday? Well, a lot of different offense, yeah. you know, I mean, they're, they're going to slow it down, I think. I haven't studied them yet, but just what I've seen, you know, they're trying to play ball control, um, run the ball, play action pass, run their quarterback. Looks like they're using two quarterbacks, and they're, we've seen a lot of their defense. Uh, they're a really good defensive team. Uh, their DBs are better than they've been, and, and up front, they've always been tough. Coach, have a winning road trip up to Boston. Appreciate it. Thank Go you pack. for joining us. This has been the Dave Doran Show. Now the foot race is on. Look out. Nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Accelerating days going all the way to the end zone. Go take what you want. Are you ready to hit the fun? Everything you got, man. Everything you got. You got to focus. You got to play with heart. Here comes the rush. Hits the throws. Picked off by Fernandez at the 30-yard line. The Dave Doran Show has been presented by North Carolina's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, proud to sponsor Wolfpack Athletics, and by Coke Zero, real Coke taste, zero calories. Woo!